Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Matt Hall. I'm with the Optel Group based here in Quebec, Canada. Uh, I take this opportunity to talk to you today about uh, Optel's approach to remote technical support using wearables. So moving right along, a little information about Optel. We're a 30 years old company. We are an innovation and experience company manufacturing vision inspection systems specialized in traceability and trackability. And this is everything from the raw material down to the finished product with consumer engagement. Uh, we are based here in Quebec, Canada with five offices worldwide and over 500 employees. To give you a little history on the approach of Optel. So we began this about four and a half years ago, well before the COVID reality. A challenge from our president to the R&D team to say, how are we going to develop a global, secure, and reliable communication platform that we can use internally with our remote field technicians and eventually expand it to our customers? So the challenge began. We evaluated many types of hardware. And quickly, we dis discovered that it's not really the hardware, but it's the software that's important. It's the platform. Uh, we have a straightforward approach to our support. It is mostly audiovisual and collaboration for troubleshooting and evaluating electromechanical systems in the field. We do use it for a uh, several other types of engineering services, which I'll get to in my slideshow in a little bit. But it was a basic, straightforward approach when we first did our evaluation. And we determined the software is an important factor. Uh, doing so, we actually met and we partnered with AMA Expert Eye, based out of France and with a USA location. We began working with them since 2017. It is a partner relationship. We learn from them, they learn from us. We have developed many solutions together um, and overcome many ch uh, challenges for our customers. Special information about the AMA solution. It is hardware agnostic. And that's where we learned we really had that eye to eye understanding that regardless of the smart glass technology or the hardware application that you wanna rely on, it's the, it's the software. It's the network that it communicates to. And that was key to us. Uh, we need a reliable platform. We need safety. We need security. Uh, we need dependability. So that came into play as our, our first major roles and responsibilities. Secure communication flow, uh, along with uh, needs and requirements of the US FDA, based on the fact that the majority of our customers at that time were pharmaceutical manufacturers. They do not permit any type of video recording within the manufacturing facilities. With that, AMA was able to have that challenge applied to their software and their wearables to make us a secure platform that does not permit downloading and does not permit recording of any type. Uh, it doesn't uh, It also prevented any type of data storage. And this was a confidential mode, which AMA had developed just for Optel. Uh, also, the benefit is that Optel uh, as a growing company is excited to work with AMA because it's a global provider. It has four or five offices around the world, has dozens of team members that are there helping, working with us, no matter where our business is taking them. As a use case for wearables, as I mentioned, did begin with remote engineering. Uh, this was how do we communicate with our remote field technicians in times during uh, installation and integrations of our solutions at the customer locations. Everyone thinks that pharmaceutical might be a clean and convenient location all the time. It's not always true. Uh, Wi-Fi and internet connectivity could be spotty at best sometimes. Uh, secure networks and buildings wouldn't let our signals get out. So this is a lot of give and take and a lot of uh, experimenting when we first began with wearables. Now, using the software uh, with Expert Eye and AMA, it is web-based. It is uh, Google, it is secure based. Uh, we have not had a problem with reliability. We have not a problem with connectivity. Um, it's been it's been really uh, an eye opening experience and quite professional. So we appreciate uh, Expert Eye because of its intuitive user experience or its user interface. Um, it is very simple. It's easy for us to uh, understand. It's very easy for our customers to understand and interpret. Uh, the adjustable bandwidth on the software is another plus factor. So as we were growing and developing our application for wearables, uh, we were successful and are successful in the pharmaceutical industry. But at the same time, as we get into remote locations in Latin America or remote locations for our geotraceability projects, when we're doing remote assessments, 
the cell phone signal will dip, it will not be consistent. We needed a, a software that would be able to modify itself and uh, consolidate its signal so that we could still continue the feed. Um, and that was something that we've also uh, discovered and used, we rely on with expert eye. So a benefit of uh, wearables is using them in um, a set office location, we will say, where we want to contact our customers or our decision makers. Um, it's easy to plan these remote visits. Uh, scheduling tools are on board and easy to use. We can send invitations as quickly as we can send an email or an SMS message. Um, it's easy to get the stakeholders and decision makers to the table to talk to them and to collaborate with them in a one-on-one -on -one environment. Uh, doing so it, now here during the COVID-19 uh, crisis, we are learning that to adapt our working models to reduce the amount of travel because of travel restrictions, limitations, availability. Uh, AMA Expert Eye has actually come into as one of our uh, most important tools uh, during the COVID period that we can rely on. We can now basically have that conversation in a secure environment, 24-7, reliable, add a push of a button and we can say this that channel is available to us um, and we bring the customers to it by incorporating the customers into a wearable solution earlier in their optel experience it shows that we're a growing technology company we embrace new technology we're bringing them into a tool that we rely on earlier in the project planning phase which then they will benefit from later at development or past development at delivery and also in aftercare. So it's introducing a service that eventually would be an aftercare tool for them, but at the same time, we're bringing it earlier because we rely on it earlier in the project planning phase. One of the events and one of the use cases that we've actually put into great practice this year in the last six months of COVID was developing and executing a virtual FAT event. So we have five offices around the world, and right now we are manufacturing and we're delivering products at those satellite locations as well as the global office. Uh, many of our larger projects or complex projects do require a FAT, a factory acceptance test or a factory acceptance exercise, uh, that we would perform it and we would condition the systems in front of the customer so that they could execute their tests and their requirements prior to taking delivery of the system. So that's great when it's one-on-one. -on -one. That's great when the customer can come to one of our facilities, see their system live. We can speak to them. We could also offer one-on-one -on -one trainings for special features or benefits that they ordered or that were incorporated into their system. Now, reality here in COVID time, we can't do that. Our facilities are closed to visitors. Many times our customers can't travel for their own requirements or availability of services and travel accommodations are limited as well. What we did is we took our traditional FAT protocols, we converted them to virtual. We outfitted our project management teams with two sets of smart glass cameras, a 60 inch monitor, uh, basically mounted on a mobile platform, a series of laptops, um, sound, sound uh, consolidating headphones. And we were able to recreate uh, by having one of our technicians serve as the customer stand-in and one technician serve as a line operator stand-in, they would then execute the customer's protocol live, one-on-one, -on -one, using the wearable technology on the AMA platform. We have real-time audio-visual connection, the ability to ask questions, get them answered, the ability for the customer to challenge the system, and the ability for the customer to watch that challenge being done by the stand-ins uh, operating the system. It is very successful, it works quite well. Uh, a traditional FAT would take anywhere from five to 15 business days, depending on the complexity and the challenges that that faced. Uh, costs for that services were anywhere from 10 to $30,000. Um, now we've actually been able to remove that from the cost of the projects. We're not charging for the cost of the virtual FAT. We have the hardware already in place, we have the platform. It's simply a case of issuing temporary licenses. Uh, it is faster, it is less expensive. Um, it's quickly becoming permanent replacement or at least a permanent alternate to an in-person FAT exercise. What we do is after the FAT, we keep these temporary licenses active so that once the customer is going to move into the installation phase or integration phase, these licenses and their accesses in that shared collaborative white space or that workspace 
um, in a secure work group uh, exist so they can continue to have their conversations. They continue to use that tool and become accustomed to how it works and see its benefit. Same time, it, rem it remains as a channel that our field technicians can use and be able to communicate with the customer, with the project management office, and then we can channel in, we can connect in technical experts from the Optel office directly to that site. It's a business plan that's been working out and it's been executed several times the last six months. We'll definitely be growing it going forward. The most popular and what was the original use case for the wearable technology at Optel was customer repairs and integrations. Integrations meaning our vision inspection systems, our traceability systems are going to be integrated into existing packaging systems, distribution channels, warehouse locations. Uh, it's our hardware and our software being mounted to an existing system somewhere in the world, uh, the customer location, and our technicians are skilled to doing so, but there's always surprises and changes when you get on site. So Optel coined the phrase, see what I see solution. We were able to take this and it was having the ability for our product experts and our technical experts in our offices be able to communicate with our remote field technicians and say, see what I see. Do you see the system responding? It's easier, it's faster, it's more reliable so that our experts can guide through audio and video and documents in the collaborative workspace. They can guide the integration process. If there's a snag or a condition that's met, they can share the information clearly, audio, video, one-on-one -on -one immediately, and they can find that solution in order to continue the integration or the process, keeping on schedule, keeping on budget. We use the same apply uh, applications in theory for that when we want to do customer repairs, or if we have to do service and maintenance on a system and our technician cannot uh, arrive at the site in time or the conditions, the travel conditions due to COVID is where we don't have a technician able to enter that area. So we have guided uh, system upgrades, we have guided uh, hardware replacement. Uh, some of these uh, processes might sound a little redundant that we don't, you know, wouldn't expect a, a trained engineer in the field to repair or replace certain aspects of their system is because they're proprietary to Optel. And normally Optel would have to go on site to do certain types of these tasks. We don't have a choice, we don't have an alternate. At this point, what we do is we're going to employ the see what I see solution directly between our experts and their technicians in the field, and they will be able to walk through the maintenance or repair of that system. Um, it's a secure, reliable connection. It's also something where we have control of the system from a software perspective and our dial in remote capabilities, but also we can use live audio and video that will complement that. It brings the experience full circle. AMA is a hands-free solution. This is something that was necessary for us. Um, it has to be safe and secure. As you'll see from the picture that's on the screen, uh, this is a field technician who would be wearing the uh, smart glasses at this point and also then looking at the handset. Everything is wired through the vest. Um, there's nothing that can be picked up by a moving part or actually fall into a packaging system or conveyor line. Uh, safety and security is utmost concern to us. We want to make sure that, that this system is truly wearable. Data security, reliable. We've talked about this. Accessible, low connected connectivity environments. This is all key to the software. The collaboration is something that the customers really appreciate. They see that. They understand that. We'll talk about it. They can see the video. They can discuss it. We can bring unlimited number of people into the conversation at a time. We can schedule it in advance. We can share documents, um, we can add notes, annotations on the whiteboard. All of these are tools that are directly and easily accessible on the software. Uh, once the customer actually gets their hands on it and they start to work with it, they see the value of it. Um, it's more than just something that's novel or new to them. They actually want to use it. Our challenge is to them, how do you get your teams to use it? So we know what to do with the technology. We want to show you how the wearables are a benefit to you. Our challenge to you is how do you get your teams to work with it? And that's actually another benefit with AMA. Their project management team uh, will work with our account directors directly with our customers and say, you have the solution, here is the platform. How can we help you utilize wearable technology in your environment? This is actually a added value to us but it's also a very welcome reality to the customer. They're uh, 
made the investment in the hardware and the software, but now they need the assistance to implement that to their uh, environment. Okay. Customized kits, this is actually something that uh, we're very excited to talk about. Um, we never thought that we'd actually be here during a pandemic uh, response period. So one of our customers, a very large pharmaceutical manufacturer is in a remote part of the United States. Uh, it is a pandemic response center. So this center is uh, 24 seven, 365, and many of the lines in there are highly automated robotic. There is a low number of actual line operators uh, due to various reasons, but the challenge is if those lines were to go down, there is an extremely small window of opportunity in the manufacturing process, either in the security of the product or in the supply chain coming into the, into the packaging lines, that those lines really have a very small window of uh, downtime. So as the, a problem could occur, um, or even routine maintenance, a line supervisor or a line manager uh, is responsible to respond to the alarms and to solve the situation immediately so that the line can continue. If they can't do so, uh, rather than stop, pause, call Optel, or call one of our OEM partners, uh, get into the um, support queue waiting for a response, what they actually do is they go to the wall, they have a red suitcase, a uh, Pelican case that is spe specially designed, contains the hardware, contains the laptop. Everything is ready to go. They pick up this case and they go to the line with it. They ring basically the next level of supervisor or director, the next specialist within their company need to talk to, and immediately they can solve that situation. They rely on the wearable technology. They're relying on the audio visual connection so that they can solve the problem and resume the manufacturing. The fact that we actually got to pilot this and we got to develop the solution for them about two and a half years ago, well before the COVID reality, is something that we thought we'd never need. But now here, six months into this, we understand that these kits are there, they have been used. Thankfully, there hasn't been major failures that the lines have gone down, but the kits have been relied on. It's that tool that is there and it's ready for them to use. That pretty much wraps up my presentation for today. Uh, I'll stay around here for the question and answer period. Happy to speak to everyone. I'm happy to continue the conversation. Uh, here's my contact information. You're welcome to give me a call. Uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, I, as, you know, as a champion for wearables and a champion for new technology, serving customer needs, I'm happy to meet and talk to everyone. Thanks, have a great conference.